Hi guys, uh, this is Angela. I'm still working on these characters here. So I'm just working on putting some pink in here, the heart. Just, uh, I made a heart here. Actually, I made two hearts on it here in this area. I had to redo this area with some gesso because I felt the lips were not in a good place. So I want to relocate the lips in a better place. So that's why I put a little gesso over the black lips to kind of get rid of them and start over again with this nice pink in the, mac in the background. <clears throat> yeah, so kind of put some pink in there and let it dry again. And I have to still go over some areas again with the marker. Um, someone was asking me, I'm just uh, mixing my paint with gesso and uh, a little bit of water when I feel like I'm getting stuck. I'll add a very little, very little bit of water to the tip of my brush. And that makes it go a long way. So just a tiny bit of water. You don't need a lot of water on your paintings. You really don't. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so just trying to cover this all up in pink again and then go over it and make the lip kind of more centered because I had it a little bit to the side that way. And uh, I didn't like that. It just looked too much to the side. Lopsided lips. <laughs> Although it could be lopsided because it could be a modern painting, it could be an abstract painting. It looks kind of more modern though. So yeah. And then I could get onto my other ones, my siblings. My siblings, which is the continuous love one of my brothers and sisters together. Actually, this one, the first one I did, I called it a girl's night out. This one, I'm calling it a girl and night and, and boys, a boys and girls night out. Because this one is going to have the face look like the boys and the girls. So it's going to have a little bit of both girls and boys in here. Okay, this is getting all mushy because the paint underneath is still kind of wet. So I'm going to let that dry and go on to uh, doing the lip up here. Wait a minute. The lip here on this one. Just going to do the bottom lip. I like light pink color. Kind of makes it pop when you do one light pink and the other one kind of dark red. Yeah, makes it pop very nicely. So, I mean, if you want later, you could come and put black lines on it, or you could just leave it like that. Entirely up to you. You're the artist, so you decide you know, how you want your paint to look for the people and for whoever wants to buy it, right? So, that's what you do. And on the top here, add a little bit more red here in this corner because it took on some of the red area but I'm gonna let it dry and <clears throat> I'll go over that again just one more time I just do it one more time I go over all of it to make sure it's perfectly well and no black ink showing you know like the black ink that I had underneath the actual paint uh, usually I use white uh, markers but uh, my white markers, I finished them so I could use my white markers. So, so I'm going to let that all dry up a bit and then go over it when it's completely dried to put the lips here. And over here, I'm going to put like a mouth here, like that mouth. It's going to go on this side here too. And the difference with this one is I didn't put ears here in the bottom on this one. Instead, I put two hearts. I think the hearts look better, right? 
You like the way I talk to you guys, like you can talk right back to me, right? Right. <laughs> oh, I'm so funny. <laughs> Let's see, what color am I going to do that, that metal there? I have to put like, make one of these uh, a purple. It would be nice. Yeah. I just pound it in there. It could be nice and mushy. It could be texture kind. If you have a little texture with regular paint, it's fine. As long as you're happy with your painting. That's what I say. I'm happy with my painting. I could care less what anyone says. But um, I do care what people say about my art. <laughs> I'll put a green in there. Let's see. This is ultramarine blue. I have a green I could put inside a circle there. Let's put a green in that in this last circle right here. Oh, I'm exhausted. I'm always tired. I told my doctor. He says, Well, you know, it's still spraying aneurysms. I said, Yeah, that's what you always say. <laughs> Could you make me like not be so tired? <laughs> he says, no, there's nothing we could do about that, Angela. Just be happy you're alive. I said, yeah, I know. Thank you. <laughs>